alchemy kind of sets the bar at a new level. Um, with Amphibious Zoo, we've done a lot of just amazing work, but I feel like with alchemy, we've integrated new gear, um, really working on the, tr the individual tracks and just really making and paying attention to the sound. Whether it's a new genre or a new style or a track I'm working on, I'm always, it's just going through my head 24-7. I obsess over it. I just stay up every night, um, kind of figuring it out, reading magazines, just trying new things. It, it helps me stay out of the routine of just mixing another track or just working tomorrow. It, it kind of keeps me moving forward and constantly growing. To blow off steam, my real outlet is skateboarding. It's the only thing that can take me away from music. When I'm when I'm skateboarding, that is the only time my head shuts off. I have to be the best at what I'm doing. What, whenever I'm working on whatever style, any style that comes out, uh, I get obsessed with that genre and just dive into it. Find out what they're doing, how they're doing their synths, how they're doing their drums, what they're doing to you know, get the sound, and I have to get that sound. I think I just wanted to, like, take what we had, which I felt was so strong, with The Alchemist, and do something over the top, like, different, literally, like, put jet engines on it, and just, like, go to the extreme integrate not necessarily dubstep but dubstep synths with you know trailer music and just really go over the top with sounds just make something new the alchemist 2.0 feels like the next step or the next movement in film trailer music